Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I want to walk you through how to reset your Samsung Galaxy A15 back to factory settings. The first thing you'll want to do is swipe down from the top of the screen, tap on the settings wheel in the upper right corner. From there, you'll want to swipe down and go to the accounts and backup section. Now, the first thing you always have to do when you're going to factory reset a phone is you have to delete all of the Google accounts off the phone. If you don't do that, you will cause an issue with the next person who tries to use the phone because the phone will still be linked with your Google accounts. So you always have to go into accounts, manage accounts, and from there, you'll delete the Google account off of the phone. So I'm going to tap on the Google account. Now you will see other accounts on that page. You don't necessarily need to sign out of every single account. The most important one is the Google account. Make sure you sign out of the Gmail. We're here. We're going to tap on remove account. Tap remove account there, press OK. And basically when you remove the account, it does take the uh, any lock you have off the phone. So if you have a lock screen password or a fingerprint um, enabled, it will remove that off the phone, okay? So we're gonna go back one screen. Next, we're gonna go down to the reset button here all the way at the bottom. And just wanna make a quick note, before you reset your phone, make sure you have transferred all the important uh, information off of the phone because once you reset it, there is no way to recover that information after the fact, okay? So, it actually shows you on the reset screen, there's a few different ways for you to back up your information. You can do a temporary cloud backup or an external storage backup. You have two different options here. If you already have the new phone that you're planning to use, I would recommend you doing an external storage backup. That's one way to get your information over to the new phone. Or your new phone may already have a uh, transfer software on it that will allow you to transfer your data. Do that transfer first, because if not, no way to get that data back. Now we're going to tap on factory data reset at the bottom of the screen here. And you'll swipe up all the way, press reset. It will ask you to enter the pin that you did have programmed on the phone. Once you enter that pin, it's going to ask you one last time, are you sure you want to reset this phone? You say yes, and it will begin the process to do the factory reset. Now that process usually takes anywhere from one minute to about five minutes, depending on how much information you have on the phone. So don't touch the phone, let it go through its process. It's going to restart a few times and you'll know that the process is complete because on the very last page, it will ask you to select the language. That's how you know you're fully past the whole reset. All right. If you found this helpful, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.